Got up at 11:55. I didn't have a long time because I just I couldn't I couldn't get up. I could not physically get up. Oh my God! I just put coffee everywhere. Mm, hold on a second. All right, friends. I am gonna clean up this cabinet a little bit. Put this back up there. And then see, because I only have a little bit of this chocolate coconut macaroon that can stay Christmas spice. This one's open. Brown sugar cinnamon. Oh, I forget we have that. The pistachio, excuse me, latte. And then fireball does not belong down here. It belongs all the way up there. Put this back. All right. Well, let me go. I'm gonna try to call my girlfriend. See how yesterday went, and um, I'll put it back. I'll try to use that on my next cup of coffee. So, all right, good people. I'll see you shortly. <gasps> Don't knock it down. You did that last time and knocked it on the floor. My goodness. All right. I'll see y'all later. It's 4.30, y'all. Okay. So it's 4.30. I'm going to make my cook hubby's um, beef stuff that I put in the refrigerator last night. His beef. I should probably cut this watermelon and see if it's rotten or not. It's only been sitting on the counter forever. Oh, excuse me. Um... So I marinated his steak last night. I'm just going to cook it up real quick. Um, I don't think I'm going to make anything with it. If he wants something with it, then tough titty sour milk. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I kind of hungry. I want a banana. I, I, I want apples and bananas. And then... Like, I can't get the fucking banana off. Wifey well, wanted me to help her with her clothes today. And I was talking to my girlfriend earlier. And she went upstairs. And she's like, well, I'll just have you bring the totes up. And I was like, okay. And then I haven't seen her since. So. So I've been touching. Do my laundry. Cleaning up. I text her. I said, you go to sleep? Out a couple hours, though. Mm. So, I don't know what you're doing. I gotta, okay. I went to pee. I just run upstairs to say everybody's still in bed, so. Whatever. So, I'm just gonna go. Get my shit done. Alright, so I'm gonna make. I was like, I didn't even turn the damn stove on. So, this is a chipotle pepper. I'm just gonna dump it in here. I'm just gonna squeeze the bag. Okay. I'm gonna throw this away because it's dripping. Okay, so I'm gonna start dessert so that way by tonight it'll be nice and chill. So I have a box of sugar free, fat free vanilla pudding. And then <clears throat> I have my almond milk and I have my half and half. Now, what I'm gonna do because I actually want this pretty freaking thick. So, and I'm gonna be adding lemon juice to it 
So actually, I'm not going to use that. I'm actually just going to use, I'm just going to pour some in here. I'm not going to pour a lot because I want this thick. I want thick. Now, here's the thing. I don't think you can make pudding in almond milk because there's really no fat. And I'm going to add heavy whipping cream would be really good too for this to add the heavy whipping cream. So the reason for this, of course, most of you know, but if you don't know, I'm going to tell you is because otherwise your pudding's not going to set. You need that fat for the pudding to set. I think Miss Jessica, I think you got me that a long time ago. Um, so like if I used to make protein sh or use protein shakes in my pudding but it would never like set and I didn't understand why and that was why so <clears throat> I'm just gonna mix this up the only thing too is like it's so weird because sometimes like chocolate puddings and stuff they don't like they stay kind of clumpy. So, so see it's starting to set. Now this is going to be, I want this thick. I probably should have used heavy whipping cream because heavy whipping cream, it is like if you, I think if you're fat free, you should probably shouldn't do this. But, okay. So there's my pudding, nice and thick. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice to this, just a little, because I might add more later, and it's still pretty thick. Okay. this away and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a spoon and I got my Ninja Rooney and I'm gonna put ricotta cheese in here because wifey really likes when I made this. So let me make it again if I can get this open. Okay, so I took some ricotta cheese out and I put it in my cup and then I'm adding some lemon juice to it. And now we are going to make this till it's like a liquid. Like just. Okay, so we have our new ricotta spray liquid stuffs. So now I'm gonna bring this in and I I'm going to pour this in the bowl. It took, I let it um, blend for a few minutes. All right, let me get the spatula real quick. have like this really cool like spatula well not sp well this is this no that yes this is a spatula so now we're going to fold in oh i gotta stir the um meat hold on a second i gotta stir the meat okay so let me fold this in and we'll mix it up Mm. 
It looks kind of lumpy, but it's from the pudding. It'll smooth it out. Fun fact, you guys can add skinny syrups to these as well. Look at that. Look at that. It's a nice yellow color from the pudding. Nice and thick. Oh yeah, she's a thick girl. I'm gonna wipe the spoon because I um, got it all over me and I'm going to eat it. Mm. That's so good. I wonder if this would be good with pistachio, like a pistachio pudding. That's really delicious. Mm. So, so I'm gonna put this in some small bowls and get that sorted out. I'm wondering if I should make it with pistachio. So, because I'm nice, I made wifey the little pudding in pistachio i just put them in little cups for her and then i have some bigger ones here because i ran out of the other cups so let's taste test this is the ricotta and i made it just like i made the vanilla but this is the pistachio I did put protein powder in this too, the unflavored. She's thick. She's good. Mm hmm. Delicious. Okay. We got that. All that are taken care of. The last thing I'm going to make. Are these chicken fries now wifey sent me these beautiful another bowl i just took the, all these the bowls out of the dishwasher it's all good in the hood all right let me watch this video if you guys want me i'll try to insert the video Look at this lazy bone. She's been in that box. Look at this lazy bone. Oh my, oh, look at, look at this lazy kitty. Oh, she got the little tongue out. Oh, upside down. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, you get the belly. Oh my goodness, put your tongue in, babies. Oh my gosh, you're so cute yeah oh my you just like oops you just like being where the people are i just want to be where the people are <laughs> oh my goodness such a sweet baby oh my oh my goodness Nixie boo. Oh. Callie, you guys are such a mess. Look, I put bird seed. Look, they're all out there. I want to get another bird feeder though. What's going on over there? Oh, it's the woodpecker. It's the woodpecker. And then the little squirrel. I don't know where the squirrel went. Oh, there's a little bird.
she is watching that birdie. So fun fact, if you are an old lady like myself and you like to feed the birds, hubby actually sent me a link last night. Birds, because birds eat fucking expensive. It was like $17 a bag at like TSC, at Walmart, it was like even at Hobby Lobby. Like I found a little bag for like $7.99. It was only like a few pounds. And um, I think I only filled, I filled this little basket twice. Oh, is it two woodpeckers? Oh, it was two of them. They both just flew away. Um, oh, I mean, look at this. Callie, do you see the birdies? Do you see the birdies? The birdies out there eating? Are they eating? You see the birdies? Who made this mess? I just cleaned this this morning. Nixie's like so unbothered. But anywho, they have um, 10 pound bags on Amazon for $7.99. I got two of them. I'm like $15 for 20 pounds. I'm like, fuck yeah, shit. So I got two 10 pound bags for um, 17 or $16, whatever it was, because they were like $7.99 each, so $16. So I was like, this is, this is a score. Um, but yeah, I was like, what the heck? But now I need some, um, I need some uh, bird feeders because I have a really big barn one that's in the back. And when I went to go fill it, I had a nest in it and I wasn't going to take the nest out. Um, so I just moved it to a different shepherd's hook. And we like to get the suet cakes too but they're still expensive. But, and then I have a couple little like tube ones out front and like another little hanging tray like that one. But I used to have some beautiful, like in wind chimes. I am a wind chime whore. I love wind chimes. But, Brayden said this has a little bit of kick to it. He's like, can I have some? I'm like, just take some Brayden. I just have a little bit of kick. Good though. Okay. All right, let me get the stuff for these chicken fries and um, get the video. Okay. I got. I got the recipe. Mix a can of chicken and unhatched chicken and shredded cheddar. Shape it into fries. Throw them in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. Take them out. And these are Burger King level bussin'. Hey! So, he said only one can of chicken, but I'm gonna make a big batch because there's a reason. So that way tomorrow, and I also have stuff for lunch. And um, tomorrow, if Brayden wants a snack or something, he can, um, he'll have food that he can eat. So, okay, so we got our bowl. And I got my spoon. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay, let's spoon out our chicken. So he said one can and one egg, but I'm doing two cans. I guess I'm just gonna do two eggs because, and this is white meat chicken. I think two eggs will be better. But because I am that girl, I'm gonna add some of my Montreal chicken seasoning because this is one of my most favorite seasonings. Oops, I had a little too much. 
going to add garlic and black pepper. Okay, because I'm that bitch. Okay, I'm going to crack my last two eggs. And then you add shredded cheese. Let me mix this up. Let me break this yolk. Okay. I'm gonna kind of mash up this chicken a little bit too. I probably should be using a fork, but I kind of want this chicken a little bit more flaky, I guess, or more. I like using, um, I know I've said this like a gazillion times before. I like using canned chicken in, um, in, uh, fried cauliflower rice. Canned chicken is really good. Um, he didn't, I don't think he really used measurements, so I'm just throwing a handful in here and just going to mix it up, because I mean, can you really have too much cheese? Me and Miss Jo don't think so, you can always have more cheese. Okay, so then... After you mix this up, you're supposed to bake these at 320 or 325 for 20 minutes. So, let me, you're supposed to shape them, so let me get my tray. I got my tray sprayed. And I'm just gonna squeeze these and shape them into, I'm kind of doing it over the bowl. And you're supposed to make them into fingers. I'm sure this is all we're supposed to. <laughs> okay. I guess they're not going to be perfect. They some thick fingers. Okay. Okay. Because I'm going to bake them in there. Cause I got like one of those, like the, you know, the gourmet ones kind of fancy schmancy. I'm going to read, do our weekly reading and I'm going to do that. These are probably a little thicker. I think I maybe one, uh, I don't know if one egg. Okay, because this is literally chicken and cheese. Oh, you know what would be good? Here's my ADHD brain working again. Um, taco seasoning, and you put like some uh, taco. I did see when I was looking for this recipe before wifey sent it to me. Um, There was, um, they are mozzarella stick stuffed, um, chicken fingers. So it's like you probably took, you probably did the same thing. I don't know. Brayda, why are you in your room and not doing the ferret?
I'm gonna fucking kill him. I don't know what. Parents, please. My son is gonna turn 13. This past like week and a half, we have been struggling. Like actually the past two weeks, we've been struggling with his schoolwork. He doesn't wanna do it. He's not doing what he's supposed to. Like we are kind of going through it right now. And I'm getting very frustrated because he's already be punished this whole week. For real. Because he's not doing what the fuck he's supposed to be. And it is pissing me off to no end. And we have gotten into arguments. I have dug in his stuff. I have yelled at him. It just, like, I understand he has executive function ADHD. But the thing is, is that I try not to use or allow him to use his disability as a crutch. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I try and I, but I still try to keep that in my mind when I'm yelling about his schoolwork. But I was told him, I was like, and if you're, and if people are asking, like, why isn't he medicated? That is a battle me and his father are currently going back and forth with. I want him medicated. Hubby does not. And we kind of go back and forth. He's, it's a battle that I'm fighting alone. And I know like me as an adult who have been, who has been, I'll be 43 this year, who has been undiagnosed for so long and still don't know what kind of ADHD I have, but now I'm afraid to get medication for me because of my blood pressure, because the one doctor was like, oh yeah, but we can just adjust your medicine. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. I have anxiety about my blood pressure as it is, and I don't think that would be good for my mental health, to be completely honest. Okay, let me wash my hands. I made these kind of chunky. I still have some left in the bowl. Okay, I still have some left in the bowl. I did make these kind of thick. If I was putting them in the actual oven oven, I probably could have made them thinner and um, probably made more. But this is what, 12? And then I, this is probably like 13, 14. Maybe I can get four out of that. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna come over here. Should I just go air fryer bake? Let's do, you know what? Let's just do air fry. Air fry for 25 or 20 minutes. So while that's preheating, I'm just gonna come over here and just, like I said, I just, I don't know what to do. And the thing is that I get frustrated is that I know it takes him a while, but I know he can do his work. So why he isn't, I keep asking him, is something wrong? Is something going on? Like blah, 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 blah. And he's just like, no, like I'm fine. I just, whatever. And I'm like, okay. Oh, did I have 425? Was that on 325 or 425? But yeah, so he has just really been slacking and I he's he's gotten caught up quite a bit, but it's not enough. And it's very frustrating to be honest. So let me bring these over here. Cause it's like I told him, I was like, I hate yelling at you. I hate having to take stuff away from you because he doesn't have any friends. He doesn't.
go anywhere. I don't drive. I try to take him out as much as I can. You know, he has juniors and stuff that he goes to on Monday nights and everything. So he does get some sort of socialization, but most of it's online with his, fr with his friends. And it's like, and I hate to take that away from him, but I don't know what else to fucking do because he's not doing what he is supposed to and he's not getting his schoolwork done. So I'm always like so conflicted, you know, about what to do and what not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so hard. And I'm sure my other parents who watch me, like, they get it. They understand. And it's like, you don't want to take away what they love. But it's like, God damn, he needs a reality check, too. Like, he needs to fucking realize that, he, like, it's a responsibility to be, you know. I was like, life isn't just about video games, you know. And I'm sure he'll get it because eventually... It all clicked for us, and I'm sure our parents said the same fucking shit about us, but it's hard, man. It's really hard. So, I'm just, I'm doing the best that I can, you know. It was funny because I was just like, oh, I was like, you made me so frustrated. He's like, well, how do you think I feel? You make me frustrated. And I'm like... Why do I make you frustrated? I said, because you're always yelling at me. I said, because you don't do what you're supposed to do. I said, kids always want to know what the fuck is wrong with their parents and why their parents are always yelling at them. I said, but you don't listen when we talk to you like a fucking normal human being. I said, and then you all just like, when we lose our shit, you're like, oh my God, what's wrong with mom? What's wrong with her? All right chicken fingers are in the air fryer cook time is counting down so while those are cooking we will do our weekly reading because when wifey comes back down after ferrets um she wants to go through her totes in the basement and clothes so we're gonna go through this so monday the 17th yes because tomorrow's the 16th the color is ivory tuesday the color is red oh shoot so on monday let's backtrack a little bit it says burn nutmeg incense for meditation or psychic powers there you go tuesday is red wednesday is brown thursday is turquoise it says solar eclipse at 12 13 a.m 29 degrees 50 something sun enters taurus um so remember solar eclipse at 12 13 a.m so I guess is that that's Wednesday night going into Thursday. Friday, Ramadan ends. Mercury retrograde until May 14th. Okay. <laughs> The color is rose Friday. Um, Saturday is Earth Day. The color is blue. Sunday is orange. And it says thunderstorms raise lots of energies that you can channel into spells or rituals. Now, here's the thing with um, thunderstorms. If you are a spiritual person or you believe in spirits or you go ghost hunting or any type of spiritual hunting, um, thunderstorms, water, electricity, those are energies that spirits can become stronger with. So sometimes like a lot of places near water, um, spirits thrive or can thrive because there's water, there's that energy. The lightning, especially during thunderstorms when there is lightning, um, it 
electrically like charges the air and they can pull that energy to manifest or communicate or move you know what i'm saying just a little fyi and then for our little excerpt there is just this really cool i'm not i guess it's for Mer mercury retro i'm gonna see if it says anything no but beltane excuse me beltane is coming i love beltane it's may day the first day of may and we usually we used to go i used to go all the time i haven't for the past few years i did go to the past fairy festival but we went to um we used to go to the one fairy festival and it is this year and it's in maryland but my one girlfriend said she can't go so who i would want to go and my other girlfriend who i used to always go with she um she can't go either so well, she lives all the way in North Carolina. My spooky bestie. So that's this week's reading. I still don't know where my little horoscope book is, which is fine. Um, so there's our weekly reading. Oh, God. Mercury retrograde starts Friday. MM's May 14th. I wonder if we'll get some good girl world drama. Maybe. We'll see. It's been pretty pretty quiet. I've been actually catching up on um, Morgan Adams' vlogs. I have three of her vlogs. that I started watching the first one where she cracked her head. And um, I like watching her um, house renovation stuff. I always do that. My mom used to get mad at me when I was little. Because every time we went to somebody's house, I'd be like, well, if this was my house, I wouldn't have this there. I would do this. I would do this. And it's just like, that's how I always was. I would go over my friend's houses and I would end up rearranging their bedrooms. I would clean their rooms, organize all their stuff, and rearrange everything. I think like, what the heck? Like, all the time. I don't know if that was just a me thing, but... But there's a reason um, people... There's a meaning behind it. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, oops, wrong thing. The meaning for constant re arrangements of furniture so there's mental benefits what does it mean when somebody is constantly rearranging furniture it's OCD it also might manifest the need of order and some symmetry, constantly rearranging their furniture or belongings or hoarding things. Why do I constantly rearrange things? People with OCD who are primarily preoccupied with the order and exactness tend to engage in compulsive behaviors that include repetitive arranging, organizing, or lining up of objects until certain conditions are met or end result feels just right. These individuals are commonly referred to as perfectionist. But I thought there was something else. It's like mental health. Psychologists say that when you rearrange the furniture in your workspace, it increases your dopamine levels while reducing cortisol. Dopamine is responsible for releasing stress while the other one aims at increasing anxiety and stress. Um, symmetry OCD is a long-term treatable form of obsessive OCD that causes people to fixate on the arrangement or position of specific objects. If someone with symmetry encounters an item that isn't properly aligned, that's incomplete, or that doesn't appear perfect in any way, they feel intense anxiety. It's funny because that is compulsive decluttering a mental illness. Compulsive, because I do this too. 
is a type of disorder that is classified with a broad name. Obsessive compulsive is just still OCD. The act of throwing items or clutter away or getting rid of them in an attempt to clean up what one with a disorder may think is cluttered. I get like that. Like, I, I'm both. Like, it's weird. Because I'm the type of person... I was taught and my godmother used to always tell me she was like I always keep things because you never know when someone might need something that you have so if somebody gives something to me whether I need it or not I'll say yeah give it to me I'll take it and then it's my job if I don't need it to find this is what I put on myself to find somebody who does need it like one of my friends or something and if they don't need it then I just I end up giving it like then I just get too overwhelmed and I get too bombarded and I end up just sending it all to Goodwill you know because that's just how my brain works but like I said when I was younger I constantly rearranged my room my living room is driving me absolutely fucking insane because there is no way to rearrange anything and it drives me I can't I really hope that our next house does not have a fucking rectangular living room like a fireplace okay that's fine I can still work with a fireplace but oh my god if we have a rectangular fucking living room I'm going to lose my shit because there's just going to be things like wifey said there's going to be some things that we all like and love and we're all going to have things that the others may not I said I just want to have some sort of independence I like to like live somewhere that's like even if it's off the beaten path if I can walk that path to the walking path I'd be fine and um and then uh goodness gracious and then um it has to be electric stove electric heat central air central heat because we had that before and I said I would like to have I like split levels because I'm like I'm trying to think long term with my knees because like I told hubby I said you have things I said my knees are bad I'll probably need knee replacement I know I need knee replacement But I said, you and wife, you're going to be the ones working, especially if we move somewhere where I can't work. I said, that's why I kind of wish we could, like, find a place, like, off, like, a little town. I can go find a job at, like, one of the little shops and work up there or something. Oh, let's check on these. Let's see. Hold on. What are they looking like? We still got seven minutes. Okay. But, yeah, I just like to have a nice little place. Where I could walk to like a little shop or something like in one of those little historic towns and just do that and just have like a little bit of money like just work a couple days a week but like I told them too I was like I'd like to like live somewhere where I can just walk to the store I have my little buggy behind me walk up to the grocery store be like oh we need milk and stuff okay I'll walk up there you know unless we need like a big grocery haul but like if we live somewhere like that I wouldn't we probably went in the unless it was a Weiss. Mm -hmm. Ugh, worst grocery store chain ever. Ever. Worst grocery store chain. Hate Weiss. They bought out Food Lion. <clears throat> Excuse me food line used to be the shit because they would have their buy one get one free sales sometimes it would be on stuff that I would never use and then other times it'd be like oh we got gold but it would be like limit four per customer or something and you'd have to get there early because everybody else would be up there so but yeah all right I will see you guys when these chicken finger thingies are done and um i'm gonna cut this watermelon see if it's any good so i'll check back in after a bit okay so we just here let's put some more light on the subject how about that Woo! there we go 
There are our chicken fingers. All right, I'm gonna put them on a plate and then we're gonna taste test. So we got our chicken fingers. All right, I'm gonna try one. Give me this one. Cause it's a little small. All right, let's put this over here. I got my watermelon right here. So here is what it is looking like. Let's open it up. There's the inside. Let's give it a try. It's so hot. Too good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. These would definitely be good with some taco seasoning. Mm-hmm. Dip them in that Taco Bell sauce. Mmm. They're delicious. So good. Alright, I'm ready to cut this watermelon. See if it's rotten or not. The outside isn't. Oh, water is just... Pouring out of here... That's not a good sign. It doesn't smell bad. There is a lot of water. Like this whole plate is filling up with water. Oh yeah, she bad. It doesn't stink, but she rotten. All right, so what I did with the rest of it I just put them in like a patty form. I'm making them as patties. So I just put them in the air fryer. So, but yeah. So I'm gonna go and wifey and them should be down in a minute. I'll have to bring wifey's totes up for her. And I wanna watch Alex's shook, but he usually live streams around eight or so, but hopefully it's not gonna take too long. She's gonna wanna try everything on, so we'll see. But all right, I will catch up with you guys later on. <laughs> okay, friends, I'm finally hooked up to my super suit. Finally hooked up, it is, what time is it? It is 11.28 and I just started, oh God. Nail broke. I just started my therapy. I'm super late because I was helping wifey. And we went through every single one of her totes of clothing. So, but I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, I love you guys also, oh, so, so very much. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning back to work. At least it's a short work week. We have Friday off, so woo woo. <laughs>